Imagine having a groundbreaking idea worth billions of dollars, but lacking the necessary capital to bring it to life. Instead of resorting to a traditional bank loan, you seek the excitement of a partnership with an investor who can not only provide financial support, but also valuable guidance throughout your entrepreneurial journey. So today, I'll take it to how to create an unforgettable pitch that investors cannot resist. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our video updates. Plus, it helps us spread the Thrive Wise love to help more people thrive wisely. Now, let's begin. Step number one, begin with the problem. In selling any idea, it is crucial to remember that people seek solutions to their problems. Start your pitch by addressing the specific problems your idea solves and start identifying the target audience. If your idea does not address any problems, then it becomes an opportunity to create a solution. For instance, imagine you are launching a business that sells blue light glasses designed to protect individuals from the harmful effects of computer screens. This product directly tackles the problem of increased screen time and associated eye strain, a prevalent issue in today's digital age. Introduce your pitch by highlighting this problem and its impact on people's lives. By clearly articulating the pain point, you demonstrate your understanding of the target market and the urgency of your solution. Step number two, choose the right product and believe in it. As Lee Laloka, an automobile executive at Ford once said, when the product is right, you don't have to be a great marketer. Committing to your idea and unwaveringly believing in its potential is crucial. History is filled with examples of successful individuals who faced numerous failures before achieving triumph. Thomas Edison's journey to invent the light bulb included 1,034 failed experiments, while SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk, experienced three rocket explosions before their first successful launch. Even Colonel Sanders had his famous recipe rejected 1,009 times before finding success. The common denominator among these innovators is their unwavering belief in their product. This principle should guide your pitch and inspire confidence in potential investors. Step number three, capture investor attention. Investors typically take a mere 15 seconds to determine whether your idea is worth their consideration. Therefore, it is essential to make a strong first impression. The opening sentences of your pitch are critical in capturing their attention. Avoid appearing uncertain or hesitant, as this can distract investors from focusing on your idea. To achieve this, utilize an icebreaker, an attention-grabbing technique that piques their curiosity. Consider an analogy. Imagine a stranger randomly approaches you on the street, saying, Hey man, I can show you something amazing. I can do a triple backflip. Give me 5 seconds of your time and you'll be amazed. While this approach may raise suspicion, encountering someone who performs a flawless triple backflip immediately captivates your attention. Apply this principle of a dramatic presentation in your pitch, highlighting remarkable successes, data, and statistics related to your idea. Engage your audience with videos, captivating presentations, and prototypes to demonstrate your vision. Step number four, discuss your solution. After highlighting the problem, it's crucial to present your solution as a natural fix for the previously described issue. However, keep in mind that you won't be the only one offering a similar solution. Competition is inevitable, so beware of those who claim to have no competitors, as they are likely misleading you. Reed Hastings, the CEO of Netflix, once stated that their biggest competitor is sleep. It may sound unconventional, but it illustrates the concept that when people are sleeping, they can't watch Netflix. There will always be obstacles to your solution, so it's essential to emphasize your unique selling points or USPs. Marketers love the term USP, which stands for unique selling points, representing the distinctive features of your product or service that you can only provide. Your USP can be encapsulated in a statement or a catchphrase, Take Domino's Pizza, for example, whose USP is you get fresh hot pizza delivered at your door in 30 minutes or less or it's free. This USP is effective because it is transparent, concise, and promises a level of service 
that no other company can match. USBs are also powerful in overcoming objections, so in Domino's Pizza's case, customer's objection is the pizza may not arrive quickly enough, but the fear is eliminated by the possibility of receiving it for free. A strong USB builds trust around your idea and leaves a lasting impression on investors. While new startups may not have the resources for a grand USB, there is a solution. Step number five, craft your company story. We are all drawn to compelling stories. And during a pitch, investors want to connect with the person behind the idea. So to start off, who are you? And what inspired you to launch this product? Share your story while emphasizing milestones and achievements to foster trust with your investors. If you lack the resources for a strong USP, focus on stating your mission or brand promise. What does your company stand for? And how is your idea unique? Remember, these answers extend beyond just you. Acknowledge that you are not just a solo act in this endeavor, leading us to the next point. But before we get into that, if you're enjoying this video, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really helps us spread the Thrive Wise love so we can help more people thrive wisely. And going back, step number six, showcase your team. When presenting your idea to investors, you are also introducing your management team. While the idea itself is important, what truly matters is who will make it a reality. Investors are bombarded with similar ideas daily, so how do they determine which one is superior? The answer lies in the team. If you are starting out as a solo entrepreneur, don't fret. Create a list of people you have collaborated with those who have inspired you or provided unique advantages to your idea, even if they are not part of the management team. Highlight the collective work you have accomplished together. Another powerful strategy is establishing a board of advisors, a small group of individuals who offer advice and guidance to your company. Even including your lawyer and financial consultant on this list can enhance your credibility and build trust with your investors. Reid Hoffman, the co-founder of LinkedIn, aptly stated, if you're playing a solo game, you'll always lose out to a team. Step number seven, make it easy and instantly understandable. Does your idea pass the grandmother challenge? In other words, if you explained your idea to your grandma, would she understand it? If the answer is yes, then you have a crystal clear proposition. People are drawn to things that are easy to comprehend and grasp. Companies invest significant amounts of money to optimize their websites and make them load a few seconds faster because they understand the importance of a seamless user experience. In the context of pitching, it is essential to have an elevator pitch, an engaging and concise presentation that can be delivered within a minute or even better, 30 seconds. Imagine you had prepared a compelling 15-minute presentation about your solar panel company, but it got rejected by investors. As you leave the building feeling disappointed, you happen to encounter none other than Elon Musk in the elevator. Knowing his passion about green economy ideas, you realize this is your golden opportunity. You have only 30 seconds, the duration of the elevator ride, to pitch your idea to him and capture his interest. An elevator pitch should contain the core problem your product solves and key ideas that make it unique. Opportunities can arise unexpectedly, so always be prepared. Step number eight, handle objections. Objections are not outright rejections. They are requests for more information. Shifting your perspective to view objections as opportunities to showcase your preparedness is crucial for your pitch. The ability to handle objections effectively directly correlates with the likelihood of selling your idea. Thorough market research is essential to identify potential objections and formulate immediate well-informed responses. Remember, objections are just questions, and you should always have a prompt answer for them. Step number nine, clearly define investor benefits. Nothing is more frustrating for investors than finishing a pitch and being uncertain about what you're seeking from them and what they will receive in return. Emphasize the exact amount of investment you need and how you plan to provide returns. There are two primary ways to structure a deal with an investor, debt and equity. Debt functions similarly to a bank loan, 
where you make regular payments to the investor, including a percentage of the initial investment plus interest. Equity, on the other hand, is the preferred option for many investors. In exchange for the investment, you don't have to make regular payments. Instead, they become a partial owner of your business. You can provide returns through dividends or by offering them a percentage of the company if it is sold. For example, if an investor finances your company with $100,000 and your company is valued at $1 million, you could reach an agreement to give the investor a 10% ownership stake. Be transparent and explicit about this aspect to ensure clarity and avoid any misunderstandings. Well, that's basically how to create an unforgettable pitch that investors can't resist. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And hey, it seems that YouTube thinks that the next video can completely transform your financial situation. Watch it to find out whether they're correct. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos on how to thrive wisely. Till next time.